Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel, Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your April 2023 general reading. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to you. If you're returning, welcome back as always. I'm truly grateful for every single one of you. So we're going to have a look and see what we've got for you guys, just as a general overview for your month ahead. Uh, this is not focused towards money, career, or love, um, but if it does come up, of course, we'll address it. All right, we're keeping this a little bit more about you. So the number one big thing here is that Saturn has left Aquarius. Yay. Saturn originally entered Aquarius in March of 2020, and we all know what that brought around for the collective, um, <laughs> the collective people around the world, all right? Um, now Saturn is now in Pisces. Now, Saturn hasn't been in Pisces for 27 years. So that's a very long time. So uh, that is a major shift. And one for the positive. We also have Neptune in Pisces. Now, Neptune in Pisces um, is about our dreams, our fantasies and Saturn in Pisces can really help us to turn our visions, our dreams into reality. And with that Saturn energy that slows us down a little bit, encourages us to take our time and uh, learn things as we go, the dreams that we follow and that we turn into reality have staying power. A lot of you might be still in a little bit of reflective mode, uh, thinking about the last couple of years, how far you've come. We are in an astrological new year as we start this reading. Uh, we're headed into Aries season on the 20th of March, and that's all the way until the 20th of April. So we do have this uh, new beginnings kind of energy that's coming in, but coupled with that, just like your calendar new year, right, where quite often we do reflect on uh, things that have transpired in our lives, right? We quite often do get in this reflective mode a little bit, right? And it's to see how far we've come, to see what we've learned, the wisdom, the knowledge that we've gained, what has worked, what hasn't, and this helps us make decisions moving forward in our new year. So full moon in Libra on the 6th of April, you might be very focused on relationships of all kinds, friendships, uh, romantic partnerships, family relationships, business relationships there as well. Some of you might be, um, you know, growing a little bit closer together, um, spending more time with people around you. Some of you might be entering higher levels of commitment. Some of you are just trying to get things back on track. And yes, some of you, because it's a full moon energy, may be making a decision to walk away. So we've got full moon energy coupled with this new year. So it's really a big turning point for some people. Um, but this is where with that Libra energy, we, we figure out where is out of alignment in our lives, what is out of balance, and how do we restore that balance? How do we get things back on track? All right, and the Libra energy can really have you making balanced, fair decisions as well. You're weighing up all your options, you're looking at all of the information that you have, and then making a decision from there. But then we have a solar eclipse. Now this is exciting because this is the second new moon in Aries in a month, so it's a black moon, but it's also a solar eclipse. So this does bring about some fiery energy. It's like a second chance at setting some intentions. Um, it does bring about this uh, little bit more firepower to get things started, to get things off the ground. It's like kind of a little bit of an astrological kick in the butt, okay, to get going. All right, so it's a great time to start some new and turn over a new leaf. So let's see what we've got coming out for you. We have the receptive, we've got the family, and we have the inner truth. All right. So we have the receptive. Now this is card number two. So a little bit, a uh, little bit similar to the high priestess card. All right. Um, so you could certainly be in this energy where you're very open and receptive, where you're flexible, you're adaptable, you're in the flow. Okay. This does bring about a very calming, patient energy. Um, and this also really does highlight your intuition. Okay. So, you know, your intuition may really be our intuition is always our guiding light. Um, always our first instinct. We quite often do ignore it. So part of the life lessons that you've learned is how to trust your intuition first and foremost and not second guess yourself. This can also be putting you into receiving mode 
for um, insights, for wisdom, for new beginnings to receive opportunities and blessings into your life here as well. But it is very open and very in the flow and that's exactly where we want to be. We've got the family coming in here, okay? And so yes, this can certainly represent um, your focus on your family, on your home life, on your relationships of all kinds, right? We have our um, our actual family, like our blood relatives, and then we've got our chosen family as well. So you might be in this energy here where you're meeting new people or you're spending more time at home. Um, you know, you may also be uh, meeting new romantic interests, okay, or, um, you know, really focused on your partnerships, very people-oriented energy that's coming in here. But I think some of you here as well could be meeting your soulmate um, or meeting more soulmates if you already have one or two in your life. We do have more than one, okay? You might also be thinking about the people around you, right? This is a very community oriented card. So this can certainly be where you are getting out, you're meeting new people, maybe you're trying new things and um, you know, you're getting together with people that share your interests, right? That uh, you know, you've got this common ground. But I do think here in this energy as well that you are recognizing um, familial patterns. So, for example, the patterns, the habits, behaviors that you have developed in your world that may have come from how you were raised, um, you know, both good and bad, right? And the great thing with this is once we recognize something and once we work through something, then we can change something. We've got the power to do something different. Some of you may actually have very interesting, some of you may have a relative that comes that pops up out of the blue as well. Maybe someone you haven't seen for a long time or someone that you've lost contact with. They may, just may come back into your life here. Some of you may be starting a family. You might be blending families together. So uh, all of these people in your world. We have your inner truth coming here as well. All right, so, you know, again, wisdom, insights, and understanding about things, okay? If you're looking for the truth or you're trying to figure some things out, you're going to get the clarity that you're looking for. But this, again, does highlight your intuition. So this can be a time of spiritual growth for you, a personal growth for you, of gaining deeper wisdom and understanding. And again, it's one thing to have information, but it's another thing to really absorb it and understand it and transform that information or that experience into some wisdom, right? It does take a little bit of reflection. So, you know, again, you might be working through some things in that regard and it's all good for you, okay? Um, but I feel here that yes, you are maybe being really honest with yourself, you're opening your heart. Um, there might be a big, a little bit of a healing element that's going on here, especially with any relationships in your life. You might be making amends or maybe you are finding a little forgiveness in your heart so that you can move forward. Um, you don't if to find forgiveness. It's one of those things that really triggers some people. And if the word forgiveness triggers you, there's something there. Okay. And cause it's an emotional response to that. But when we forgive, when we choose, when we make the conscious choice to embrace forgiveness, we are empowering ourselves to no longer let past energies influence us emotionally. And we can feel that detachment coming in there and it's freeing. It's not condoning anyone's behavior or anything like that. It's really for you to release to be free and to move forward because we always have experiences. We always have um, things that we've done or things that other people have done to us, right? We always have that knowledge, but we can detach from the energy, okay? And that way we don't get triggered emotionally about things anymore. And so I think some of you might be getting some big insights as well in that, all right? So we have that there. There we go. All right. Oh, dear. We've got you upside down. All right. So we've got the Empress card here. Very open, very receptive. Um, we've got the Eight of Cups. We've got the Eight of Pentacles, kind of slightly tilted sideways. And then we've got the Hermit that is in the reverse there for you. So 
um, in this particular deck. It's kind of in the reverse, but it's kind of a little bit off kilter. So this deck, depending on where the top of the card is, it's like a clock face. So it can be full on upright, full on reversed, or it can be like a little bit to the side and it all means something a little bit different. So we'll go through it. But we do have the Empress card here, which is beautiful. This is all about creation, all about being open and receptive, right? We already have that coming in here for you. And this is your ability to be creative, to attract abundance and positive things into your life. This is your ability to start something new. It is a card of fertility. It is a card of new beginnings, but it's also one of growth and expansion. Okay, The Empress card also brings love into our life and love is the highest vibration of all. And when we embrace love, we attract more wonderful, positive things. So it is an awesome, awesome energy to attract the good things in your life and to expand upon them. It does bring about one of um, an energy of being open, but it also brings about a little bit of patience to your mix as well. Patience is, um, and a lot of people don't like to be told to be patient, but when we have the energy, it's like, yep, yeah, just allow. Things are blossoming. Things are growing. Let things come to you and don't try and force the issue. We do have the Eight of Cups here as well. And so for some of you, again, you're on a little bit of an inner journey, a little bit of an emotional journey. Perhaps you are learning how to let certain things go. The things that you don't want to carry with you into the future as you progress, as you move forward. Some of you have a vision, you have a dream, and you are here in this particular energy taking the steps that you need to take to get you closer to achieving your goals and your dreams. Some of you are looking for something that's a little bit better for you emotionally, okay? Or maybe you are um, leaving some negative emotions behind, okay? The Eight of Cups can be a little bit of a tricky card, right? We can say that, yes, we are detaching emotionally, we're le letting something go, and we're trying something new, absolutely. But we can also say that you're moving forward, you're letting things go that aren't going to benefit you moving forward, and you're right there a step closer to achieving something because you're improving a situation, all right? And you're not dragging the past with you. You're not dragging things with you. And if you think about things like relationships, right? We all have things that we sometimes get hung up on. And when we keep bringing up the same thing over and over and over again, it just can be really uh, destroying, right, to a relationship. And sometimes, you know, we can get those people that bring up the same old arguments and, and things like that. And it's like, would you just please let it go so that we can move past it? So with the Eight of Cups here, you could be figuring out how to leave, how to put, get yourself past something um, that has affected you and detach from that emotionally. Just let it go because let's just look to the future. Let's just look for solutions um, in this energy. So, and that really does require a little bit of conscious effort on your part. But again, we do have this open receptive energy. We also have this energy of forgiveness and healing and letting go. Okay. But I do think that some of you have some goals in mind. The Eight of Pentacles is really facing towards the future, the way this has come out. And the Eight of Pentacles is, you know, learning, um, gaining skills, being committed, rolling up your sleeves, getting to work. So I think your hard work um, is paying off. And I think you are in some level of your world in a little bit of transitional energy here. So some of you have some career goals. Some of you are just gaining the wisdom and insights from your life lessons, right? From things that you have um, worked hard to achieve and you're looking at things and going, yeah, you know what? I've had some successes. I've also had some things that haven't worked out for my way because the Eight of Cups can be something that hasn't worked out. Um, so I have things that haven't quite worked my way, um, but I've learned a lot on my journey. Um, but now it's time for a little bit of change. Okay, so you might be changing your environment. You might be changing something about you because that hermit card in the reverse all right, you, um, you know, you may have some aspects of you that you want to change, that you want to better for the future. 
All right. And some of you've got like some career goals or some relationship goals here. There you are ready right now to take the next step forward. What does that look like for you? Is that reconnecting with something? Is that taking something to the next level? Um, or is that starting something new? What does that look like to you, right? And we can have new things going on while also doing things. Life is not just one thing at a time, right? We quite often do have a few things going on at the same time. I do feel here that if you are dissatisfied with your job, um, I feel like here there are new opportunities on the horizon for you because you're ready, the Eight of Pentacles, you're ready to take the next step forward or you're ready for a change, right? Because even though you're working hard, right, you might not be fulfilled and that Eight of Cups there. So uh, there could be something that you can do to improve your current situation or maybe there is this big change for you so that you can do something that gives you, um, that allows your creative side to come out, that allows you to um, really engage emotionally with what you do for a living, right? To love what you do. And that's important. Um, that's important for us all, right? To love what you do or to be happy with what you do or, you know, to be at least a little bit fulfilled, right? Um, and if you can't, if you can't necessarily get that in your workplace, right? Maybe there's something really not that, not that bad with it. It's just like, ugh, it's just a job. Okay. Um, then maybe there's something that you wanting, wanting to do or create on the other side. Okay. In your personal life that kind of compensates for that a little bit, have a little bit more fun. I do think here that some of you maybe have some talent, um, that, you may have the potential to use your creative talents and to turn that into a business. So maybe go out on your own a little bit there because that eight of cups can be you going out on your own, right? Um, you know, you're very excited, very passionate about something. So you might have um, a lot of skills here to be your own boss. All right. Isn't that nice not to, wouldn't that be a nice feeling not to, uh, you know, answer to somebody, you know, stick it to the man kind of thing. Um, so you might be able to do that, right? Because the, um, the Empress card is about expansion and growth. And we do have this eight of cups, right? You could be just walking away, um, on your own and following your own path to make some money. So very interesting energy there for some of you. Um, so trust yourself to make the right choices. But you may be, um, you know, again, feeling a little bit disconnected because we do have the Hermit card coming out and this is coming in your um, your shadow side position. It's uh, kind of in the reverse, but also a little bit tilted to the shadow side position from this deck. So, um, you know, for some of you, it's time to get out of your shell. You've been in hiding or you've been, you know, in this reflective mode, or maybe you've been feeling a little bit, oh, like I just don't know, or you've just been feeling like a little bit alone. And I feel here that this is something that you've been processing, okay? And we do have an inner journey with that Eight of Cups. So I think it's something that you've been processing emotionally. Um, and I feel here that it's time to get out of your shell. The Hermit card can be... Um, one of being very solitary. Um, and sometimes if we're in hiding, okay, we're just all by ourselves, just doing our thing. I think this is a time of growth for you. It's a time where you get out in the open, you reconnect with people or you meet new people and you get out of your shell a little bit in this energy. Um, I do feel like you're maybe trying to figure out what it is you want as well. Maybe you feel a lack of confidence in some area. Okay. And you're trying to maybe work through that a little bit. Um, I also feel here because when we are in hermit mode, right, we're whoops, going within and we're finding the answers, right? We're doing a little bit of soul searching and it's to figure out what star here lights our lantern forward, what lights our path. All right. So, and in the reverse, you may feel as though number one, that maybe you had a goal or a vision or something that you were working towards. And maybe you just like, I don't want this thing anymore. Okay. And I'm like, this is just not doing it for me anymore, which is perfectly fine. We all evolve. We all change. Um, I also feel here that there is maybe just this kind of, I just don't know what I want right now. 
Okay, and that's why you're, you know, working through some energies over here. Okay, so um, I do feel here, though, that if you have a little bit of, you, if you've been hiding away or you've had a lack of confidence, this is now your turning point and now your time to shine. Okay, to use your skills, talents, and wisdom to better your situation in whatever way that happens to be for you. Okay, when we have your own card in the reverse, do you trust yourself? Right? Do you trust yourself that you're making the right choices? Do you trust yourself that you're on the right path? Or are you filled with doubts and regrets? Right, Sometimes we just are. So I think the Empress card here plus your other energies up here are coming in to help support you and show you that you know you do have a lot of potential and that you um, have a lot of skills and that you are um, really unique and so you know just think about what you want and just go for it even our failures are also our successes right and if you think of inventors through our lives right um, you know anyone who has ever invented something did not succeed the first time out of the gate right they quite often had failures but all that failure did was show them okay well, that didn't work. Let's try a different way. And they build those blocks forward, right? It's the building blocks of wisdom, okay? And it's like, you know, if you're playing with electricity, well, well don't stick a screwdriver in the socket because that hurts. You're only ever going to do that once and you're going to find a different way the next time forward, right? So it's those life lessons, those things that don't work out, teach us a better way forward. So even if something hasn't worked out for you, Okay, and you might feel like a little bit like you failed, you have actually succeeded because you've gained knowledge and wisdom on your journey, right? And now you've learned that, hey, this thing's not right for me or that wasn't the right way, let's try a different way. Okay, so instead of beating yourself up, the Empress is here to give you some love, all right? It's also a little bit of self-love, by the way, because maybe you've been neglecting yourself. We have the Eight of Swords, time to get out of your shell, time to get out of your shell, okay? Time to release restriction. We've got the Five of Cups, move the Five of Cups on top of the Eight of Cups, all right? We've got the Four of Cups, a little bit of discontent there. And we've got the Tower, okay? So, yep, if we've been stuck for a while. Um, <laughs> if we've been stuck for a while, the uh, Tower comes in here to shift your energy around, okay, to help you release anything that's been keeping you trapped um, or in an old pattern or cycle. Um, this is giving you epiphanies, insights, revelations, okay, to shake things up a little bit. When we are stuck, okay, or when there's stagnant energy that's all around or when we're a little bit too much in our bat cave, a little bit too much in our comfort zone, um, Spirit sends us a tower to make us uncomfortable to get us out of our comfort zone. Let's get another card with that. And we've got the judgment card. Wow. Ooh, okay. Whew, man, oh man. Um, I'm just going to address these two first because, yeah, the tower card with the judgment card. Whoa, boy. This is, number one, a little bit of a sense of relief to be honest with you, because it is a huge one of letting go, of seeing the truth, of seeing the light, of figuring things out, of gaining clarity, getting a revelation perhaps, okay, and that you can make a choice, you can make a decision, do you give yourself a second chance at something, do you let something go, okay, Do you, what do you need to do to move forward, and you are being very guided in this energy so the tower does bring about shock and surprise it does bring about letting certain things go most often a lot of times within us and again this is all about you so i think you're figuring out here with that hermit in reverse right again something's got to give something's got to shift and something's got to go and i think you're going to figure out what that is okay you might already know what that is as well okay um the judgment card does bring truth and clarity to light right something out of the darkness out of the shadows is revealed and this can sometimes be something within you this can be um you know just the truth the clarity that you're looking for okay and this is your ability to make a decision okay the tower makes us uncomfortable for a reason because we've been stuck okay we've been stuck in a rut but the thing is i think there's a little bit of magic in the air for you i've got to tell you um we do have the empress bringing abundance and creativity and love and all of this wonderful things into your world but we have three eights coming out here for you 
Eight of Swords, Eight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, 888. You go look up the deeper meaning of 888 because this is magic in the air for you. Eights mean infinite potential, unlimited possibilities. Eights also have to do with manifestation, things magically happening in your life, those doors opening for you, those opportunities that are revealed to you, okay? Um, manifesting into your world in the most positive of ways, right? So, uh -huh. so with these eights coming in here, the Tower and the Judgment card Prepare for something magical. Prepare for some doors to open up. Prepare to take action. Okay, this is all preparing you and clearing their, your path so that you can move forward from something and so that things can improve in your life. Because you're ready for that, we do have the Eight of Swords coming out here for you. And normally the Eight of Swords in the upright is fear and restriction and feeling a little bit stuck or uncertain about where to go. I can't see anything, I'm confused, I'm full of doubt. And in the Eight of Swords in reverse, you could be really letting that go, okay? And facing your fears or getting a little bit of clarity about things in your world, okay? The big, big energy is over here, all within you. Feel here that you are very much in control more than you give yourself credit for. We can be the mastermind of our own tower moments, right? We can get an epiphany and all of a sudden, oh my goodness, and life changes, right? Life is not the same. Same with the judgment card, right? The judgment card brings in the influence of Archangel Michael to give you some power, to give you some strength, to help you to heal, to de attach okay to help you get out of your comfort zone and face your fears okay or deal with your issues and so that you can move forward so that you can move past them so call on archangel michael for a little bit of help there you will get it okay you will you will very much get it right away all right but the judgment card is clearing the path for a new beginning um, for making those improvements and for making strides right remember the tower we're clearing the path of anything old, stagnant, stuck, any fears, restrictions, doubts, patterns, behaviors, whatever that happens to be, old ways of thinking, because we're ushering in the new. And again, the judgment card there helps you do that as well. So we're releasing things with this eight of swords in reverse, okay, and we're gaining clarity, all right? But you do have some emotions here that you might be working through. We got the five of cups. Yes, there's been some things that haven't gone your way, all these cups spilt over here, but you still got cups standing, okay? So how is this gonna go for you? For some of you, this represents processing some emotions here for something that hasn't gone your way or something that's a little bit lackluster. But the two cups still standing, that can either represent the ability to salvage something, okay, um, to repair something, or it can be that once we process emotions from something that hasn't gone our way, Okay, then when we make a conscious effort to turn around, then we can find something a little bit better for ourselves, right? But we do have the ability and possibilities to repair things there with that five of cups. But we do have to, um, you know, we do have to uh, connect with our emotions there and we need to process something um, in a healthy way. So again, that judgment card can really be helping you here with this five of cups energy, seeing the pos the seeing the how should we say, seeing the positive out of a negative situation, seeing the potential to turn things around, okay, or seeing the potential there to for something newer and better and more fulfilling on the horizon, whatever that looks like to you. So there is this energy, a big decision I think some of you are making here. But again, it's a little bit of a turning point for you. Okay, so, <clears throat> but it is one of processing things um, in a positive way. And I do feel here that, you know, when we've got the four of cups energy, you might be thinking about how do I make things better? Okay, something's not where I want it to be. And we already see that. But what can I do to make it better? So we've got a fourth cup coming in here for you. So and this can represent that there's an um, ability and an opportunity here to course correct a situation, to heal something, to make it a little bit more in alignment with, um, you know, with what you want for your future. Or this is also saying that there's opportunities coming in here for you. There's potential here for you. There's change. Um, there's something wonderful coming in for you, but I need you to be, you've got to be open and receptive to it, right? This person here is just looking at these three cups and going, meh. 
no, it's not what I want, whatever, it's okay, but it's not really good for me. And then there's a fourth cup coming in on the side, but unless she changes her perspective, she's not going to see that fourth cup, right? She's not going to see the possibilities there. So this is reminding you here to keep an open mind and to keep an open heart and to look at the potential or look at the possibilities, um, you know, either to make those improvements or to find something new that's a little bit more in alignment with who you are and what you want. But some massively shifting energy here for you. Um, even just your way of thinking and way of processing things. All right, so uh, prepare, um, expect the unexpected when we do get the tower card here, okay? Um, because it just it can, yeah, it can bring about um, just some sudden shifting energy. Um, even if you stumble across some information, um, and this is something that kind of gets your adrenaline going a little bit, right? It's like, ooh. Um, so, you know, but sometimes, yeah, you could have to let something go in order to follow your true path as well. So anyways, so expect the unexpected there. All right, so let's get a card here for the full moon. Thank you. And let's get another card for the solar eclipse. All right, so the card that come out for your full moon, your commitment is being tested. Interesting, since we have that eight of pentacles coming in there. All right, what are you committed to? Where is Where are you putting your commitments, right? Um, is it what you want? Is it not what you want? So I think here this full moon is going to give you some insights and clarity and you're going to figure out, do I continue on my path? Do I keep doing what I'm doing? Do I keep the commitments and the promises that I've made? Or is it time to let something go? Or maybe I can just shake things up a little bit and do something a little bit different. Okay, so we all do face these tests um, in our life, in our journey. So this, you might really need to make some important decisions. And again, that judgment card there is helping you to do that. We have nothing is yet set in stone. And this is your eclipse um, your eclipse message. So be flexible, be open. Again, here in this middle part, in this energy, there's no, there's no decisive energy, right? There's potential and there's possibilities. Um, and there can be a letting go, but there can be a starting new, but there can also be fixing things that are coming in here. So nothing is yet set in stone. Things are still in motion for you. Things haven't been decided for you yet. All right. So be in the flow, be open, be perceptive. Okay. Look at the potential, look at the possibilities. This might be quite emotional. This is the ocean right there. So very uh, water-based kind of energy. Can you be creative in your endeavors? Okay. Or do you need to just kind of you know, um, reattach to something on an emotional level. All right. What is that for you? So, uh, I think here that there is some unanswered questions, but I think that you are going to be figuring some things out in the month of April. Okay. Trust yourself to make the right decisions, the right choices for yourself, but that we do have this emotional energy right in the middle of here. So you may need to process something there for yourself, but remember the future is always in motion. We have free will. We have the power to change. So if there's something you don't like, remember, you have the power to change. You have the power to live your best life, whatever that looks like to you, okay? Sometimes we just need to take baby steps forward. Sometimes we need to have a conversation that we don't wanna have, right? Whatever that looks like to you, you have the ability to dictate how your future will unfold. Right, And there's a reason why they say the future is forever in motion because it is. We can make a decision today. If we continue on our, on our trajectory the way we are right now, we kind of know the outcome. But if we take a step to the left or if we take a step to the right or if we follow the path less traveled, right, then of course our uh, future is going to change a little bit. Okay, So you have that power within. Remember that. 
I'm going to leave that there for you guys. I hope there was something here that resonated with you on some level. If there was, please press like on this video and subscribe to my channel. It really does help to get the video seen. Okay. Um, but also leave a comment in the box down below. What do you want? What's changing? What is this tower for you? All right. So I thank you for watching. I hope you have a magical and very lucky, hopefully, April ahead. And um, I will see you guys next time.